All right, this is video three in how to build a bowstring. If you have not seen video two, go ahead and click right here. If you have not seen video one, go ahead and click down in the description to go back and check out video one and two before you watch this video number three. Video number three for me is all about stretching, twisting, and burnishing our bowstring. We gotta get that stretch in and we gotta make sure that that cable or string is stretched out nice and good so that when you draw your bow back, it's not going to twist on you. So check out video three, I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. And here is video three on stretching, twisting, and burnishing your bowstring. Now the next thing I do is I take some of these good old trusty golf tees right here, and I'm gonna split my bundles. I'm gonna split them in half. And then I'm gonna split the colors up as well. So I gotta find the center here of my bundle. All right. So I put, you put four in, you put four in, two on this side, two on this side. Then you just slide them down to our end here. There, you slide the other one down to this end. Go over to this side. Take a look over here so I don't have anything crossed. In there, they're split up nice. So now I got my colors separated. All right. So now we move on to the next phase. So you take your piece of serving material, you're going to wrap it around each bundle, each bundle, two or three times. And we're just going to go up and down the string. about once and what this does is pulls off some extra wax that's on the string so as I slide down my string I just pull it nice and tight by the time I get to the other side you got a little wax on the string there you're gonna do that to each bundle All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull out my golf tees. So I've used a scale once to check the weight and I made a little jig here uh, so I know when I'm at 300 pounds I use this jig. I check it by using this spring right here. So. I use this spring right here to check so when I get to my gold line I know that I'm about 300 pounds on my jig. Down here on this end I just have a bolt and at this point it doesn't matter um, string length anymore so I just kind of loosen this up that was just to hold it in place when I was setting my jig length. And because it's a homemade jig, it's going to take some banging around and stuff on it to make sure it works. But, and I just crank it down, get it nice and tight. Got to stretch these strings out for about 20 minutes. What that does is it equalizes the pressure in the string strands here so that I don't have any stretch. So I'm going to crank it down to about 300 and we'll go from there. That's good. It's nice and cranked down now, so I'm just going to let it sit for about 30 minutes or so for my cables. I'll come right back. 
after stretching the string for 20 minutes, I'm going to reduce the tension on the string. And then after I reduce the tension on the string, I'm going to insert my golf tees again. And then once my golf tees are inserted, I'm going to twist the string. And there's a formula I use, which you can also find on that website. I'm going to link down below in the description, so make sure you check that out. Um, I'm going to twist the string, the number of twists I need to put in it. Uh, I'm actually going to pull the golf tees when I get to about half of my twist. The golf tees help the string start to twist from the middle rather than the end. So that's kind of what I'm about to do now. I'm going to release the tension for you. Insert my golf tees. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand to the back of the post on this side over here, and I'm going to rotate. I'm going to start back here. I'm going to rotate clockwise around to put my twists in. So I'm just going to rotate right here on this thing. Just rotate all the way around clockwise to get my desired number of twists in my string. In this cable, I have to put in 29 twists. So at about 15, I'm going to pull my um, strings out. What I'm going to do also, though, at that point is I'm going to insert a string in between my two colors to... Uh, keep them separate all right so let's go ahead and rotate clockwise 29 times one two uh, separating my two colors right there pop that out pop that out and 29. So there's my 29 twists in that string. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of more pressure on the end here. Just tighten it up a little bit, just a little. And I'm gonna run this serving I dropped in there through my strands here, and that separates the two colors, my two bundle colors. You can see they're kind of messed up in some spots. So you kind of pull it through. It separates the colors out nice and neat, evens them out a little bit. Go back the other way that I came from. You can see there's some mixed in. So what we're doing now is when you see, when you see right here there's an orange one mixed in, okay, we're separating those colors out so they're sitting on their own. Once you get to the end here, our strings are separate. And what we do now is we're going to tension this back up to 300 pounds to stretch some more. That's gonna to continue to even out these bundles and the pressure inside those bundles. And as soon as we pull it and get it at tension, the string is kind of ropey right now. So what we do is we burnish this string, we wrap a piece of serving around it, kind of like we did with the bundles before. Wrap that serving around there, and we run it up and down and up and down the string to smooth it out nice and neat. It always looks kind of rough right now, but after we do this burnishing here, it'll look, it'll look really nice. So tension it back up to 300 pounds. That's pretty good. I'll show you what I'm doing right here. All I'm doing right here is just checking using. So once the washer, outside of the washer, gets to that mark, I'm right at about 300 pounds, and you can tell by the sound as well. We're gonna go up and down it a few times so it's nice and smooth. Just take your serving, go around it maybe two or three times. I'm gonna come back, give you a close up real quick of what that string looks like right now. Gotta go on this side, it looks like. Okay. Pull it tight, go up. And down, and up, and down, and up, 
starts to get smoother and smoother and down. It's also removing some wax, so our serving will have less of a chance to slip and down and up and down and up and down. And that should be good. Pull that off. This string just looks freaking awesome now at this point. Give you a quick look. Starting to get a little shiny. String is now at 300 pounds. I'm gonna let it sit right here for about 30 more minutes. Cables, you don't have to let sit quite as long. I like to stretch my string just a little bit longer because there's more material, it's a longer piece of bowstring that I'm making. I just like to stretch it a little bit longer, make sure all that material stretches out nice. So we're at 300 pounds, now we just sit and wait for another half an hour. After my half an hour's up, I loosen the uh, tension on the string. That's where I am right now, step to it. It's really not that hard. Up next is serving and just make sure we serve nice and tight but not so tight that it's twisting and turning our string all over the place. So thanks for watching. We will see you next time.